Now PCF stands for Previous and Current Filter. And basically all this effect does is combine the last output value and the current input value in very strange ways to create unique sounds. Uh, the details of the modification methods aren't really uh, that important. Um, they're just things that I just played around with for a while and um, found that they uh, generate interesting sounds, so I just gave them names within the PCF effect and gave you the ability to, to work with them. So what I'm going to do is uh, unmute PCF by pushing square and push uh, left trigger, right trigger, and triangle. Now I'm going to select effect again. So filt type uh, controls the filter type for, um, for PCF. Now there are uh, six different options for filter type, and they all uh, refer to different algorithms. Now the names for the algorithms um, don't really necessarily mean anything in terms of how they actually work uh, within the program. They're just names I end up giving to them at one point in time, and uh, what the algorithm does has, uh, has changed as uh, over time. So first of all, I'm going to bring the mix up to 1.0 so that we can actually hear the different, uh, the different filter types. So the control parameter is used in, uh, uh, to, to modify the output, and its meaning is, uh, depends upon the filter type that's being used. So uh, it's just an additional control parameter to, uh, to modify the, the output of the effect module. So I'm just going to play around with this for a little bit. So some values uh, will actually cause nothing to come out of the generator. So you, uh, if, if you get silence, then just try modifying under the filter type of control value to get some audio out. And some of them really do uh, uh, clamp the overall output. So you might have to adjust the T-ball parameter from the sequencer in order to get something that, that sounds interesting. That has any kind of phaser like effect to the sound. So, uh, you know, oftentimes you might want to just mix in a small amount of the, uh, of the, uh, of the output from the PCF uh, effect into the original sound because uh, it can dominate the overall, it can, it can really you know, destroy the sound in pretty severe ways. So if you're not looking for something that's very experimental, then just mixing a small bit of the noise can uh, sound pretty interesting. This is especially true if you're using it with uh, drum loops, because a lot of the effects tend to uh, be uh, exaggerated uh, when there's some sort of uh, uh, onset, basically. You know, it's when a sound is triggered, uh, the effect goes a little wild and adds a bunch of noise. But for, um, for generators that, that have something that's more of like a steady state kind of sound, uh, they don't always sound as interesting with the PCF function. Again, experimentation is the most important thing with this.
So the next uh, effect I'm going to show you is RD, and this stands for reverse dynamics. So I'm going to mute PCF by pushing uh, square. Now I'm going to enable RD by uh, unmuting it by pushing square again. And now I'm going to press uh, left trigger, right trigger, and triangle. Select effect. Now this is the only effect that does not have any parameters associated with it. And that's because uh, what RD does is it takes uh, small input values and makes them into large values and large values into small values. So there's no way to control this. Uh, all you can do is adjust the amount that RD is, uh, the, the reverse dynamics is applied to the overall sound. So I'm going to modify this by changing the mix parameter. So again, uh, it's a pretty pretty harsh sound, so um, depending upon what you're going for, you might want to uh, just bring a mix a little bit in order to uh, not drown out the original sound.